Hey guys, it's Snippy here, and I have a few things to show y'all. I went to some garage sales, and I picked up some great finds. Um, most of the stuff I paid $5 for, except for one thing I paid at another place, but I'll show y'all everything I got first. Um, first, just a bag of random darts. Most of these are like, mm, Busby darts and your original Star of Taggers. Um, so, got a lot of darts. A chain blast belt. Um... So, I need one of these. I just had a few of the links, but I didn't have a full belt, so now I have a full belt. Um, one and two Vulcan belts, so I have two more of these. Um, put them right down here. I also found me a clear Vulcan tripod at another place. I paid 50 cents for this. I just wanted one to complete my Vulcan. Um, and it's clear, so it's kind of cool. Um, a Recon Tactical Light, um, comes with batteries, so I, I got batteries with that. A Mission Kit Tactical Light, I think that's what this is, um, green, it also came with batteries, so I'm getting a lot of batteries. A Secret Strike Pocket Blast, um, works, it's in good condition. Um, it also, it has Michael T written on it, and most of these things have Michael T written on it, I think. Even the tactical light does. Um, so that's probably who probably sold most of this. Um, a Star Wars blaster, I think this is a Rebel blaster, I'm not sure. I got one just for the heck of getting one, I wanted to mod one of these. Um, I know there's a lot of dead space in this, in between the plunger tube and the actual barrel. Um, it has a little light on the front, let's see if I can get it to work, there we go. Um, also came with batteries. I'm getting a lot of batteries. Um, it fires pretty well. Let's see this. Um, I'm probably gonna audit CPVC it. Um, basic mods. Um, this dark tag blaster. I do not know what it's called, but this is the blaster that I used um, to make my jolt attack roll connector. Um, it's got it just like a having one. Um, works pretty good. Next, we have a a scout. Now, this is the blaster that would, you would attach to the side of a Titan, and it has a little button right here, so you can just press it on the side of the Titan, and it would pretty much press here and fire. Um, it has some minor rusting on the screws. Well, I wouldn't say minor; it's like kind of major. Um, it's in good functioning condition, so for one thing, I'll fire it off right now. It's good, it's good ranges, but as you can hear, it rattles now. Once I do this, it doesn't rattle. Um, what I think the problem is, let me get another dart so only will rattle whenever I fire a dart. I think the problem is, is let me see if I can position this the right way. The actual, the dart tooth and the whole air restrictor assembly is kind of off and it's loose so it shakes around. Um, so that needs to be fixed. I can wiggle it around and I put my pinky in there. So that needs to be fixed, but it's in good working condition. It all fires really well. So, yeah, cool. Um, I wasn't expecting to find this, but a piece of original nerve. Um, this is, I think, a switch shot. I'm not exactly sure. Um, or a secret shot. I'm not exactly sure, so don't take my words on it. It is a 1994 Kenner, made in China. Um, it's not in the best condition. It's missing some pieces. Um, I think there was a piece that went up here that's missing. It is some minor wearing um, where the shell is kind of fractured. Let me see if I can get that on camera. Right around there and right there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's missing the um, decal right here. Um, and it has some of the decal right here. Um, it also still has the original like, nerve logo on it. Um, it's in good fine condition. I wasn't expecting it to work so well, being the age. Um, it's probably been through a lot. It has some minor corrosion on the screws as you can see. Um, it's missing a little piece right here that probably broke off. This is probably extra dart storage. And since this is original nerve, it fired mega darts. But what's different about it is instead of having a regular barrel, it uses the peg type of barrel similar to like your um, um, Airtex and stuff like that. So it will fire any type of dart. Um, you just stick it right on there and you pull it back and fire. And it fires really good. It shoots um, elite streamlines about 30 feet, which is I was really impressed. Um, but if you do not know about this blaster, it has something else special about it. So you can say, 
Bam! I'm out of my tower. Oh no, what to do? And you go like, bam. Surprise, motherfucker. And you can shoot out of the bottom. It has another dart holder right here, and it fires out of there. All you have to do is switch this little thing down to switch your firing um, barrel, and it just fires out of the bottom. So that was kind of cool. Um, I wasn't expecting to find this. Tried to grab it, but that didn't work. Um, it's in good condition. It fires really well for its age. Um, I don't know if I'll mod it. I may leave it stock, um, but there's a lot of dead space um, in this gun because just the whole way it switches firing to a barrel down here and it's connected via tubing. So, it's cool. Um, not the coolest thing I found, but I'm about to show you the coolest thing I found. Da -da -da. Another long shot. Um, this is my third long shot. This thing is in amazing condition. I was not expecting it to be so good. Um, pretty much no imperfections on any of the paint anywhere. Just some very minor scratching down here on the handle. This one may become a wall hanger. Um, I also got me a good scope for it, but the problem with the scope is, is it has Michael T written on it right there, but there's no fading on the scope at all. It's in pristine condition other than the writing. Minor scratching. Um, no rusting or corrosion on any of the screws anywhere. Um, it's original blue. Um, it also has Michael T written on here, but I may be able to swap that out with another um, stock from another long shot. Um, like I said, this one may become my wall hanger. And I may take my current wall hanger and make a seal breach. Something similar to an angel breach or a CPVC breach. I would love to do that with um, one. But um, yeah, really cool. didn't expect to find one. And the total price I paid for all of this, not counting the little um, bipod, tripod for the Vulcan, I paid a total of $5 for all these blasters and accessories. So I think that was a really good deal. Um, so yeah, um, really good condition really awesome finds. Um, so yeah, thanks. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and signing off.